Regular testing of power transformers is essential for ensuring their reliability, safety, and longevity in electrical power systems. Transformers are critical assets that require comprehensive monitoring and maintenance to prevent catastrophic failures and extend service life. This document outlines eight essential transformer testing procedures that provide valuable insights into transformer health and condition. Each test serves a specific purpose in detecting different types of faults or deterioration mechanisms, and together they form a comprehensive diagnostic approach. The frequency of testing should be based on transformer age, criticality, operating conditions, and maintenance history, with critical units typically requiring annual testing and less critical units tested every two to three years. Essential Transformer Testing Procedures 1. Transformer Turns Ratio Test, TTR Test The Transformer Turns Ratio, TTR, test is fundamental for verifying the integrity of transformer windings by checking if the primary to secondary turns ratio matches the nameplate specifications. This test is particularly effective at detecting shorted turns in windings, which can significantly impact transformer performance. The procedure involves de-energizing the transformer and isolating it from the system, then connecting a TTR meter to both high-voltage HV and low-voltage LV terminals. After selecting the appropriate vector group on the TTR device, a low-voltage test signal is automatically applied, and the HV-LV ratio is recorded for all tap positions. The results are compared, compared against nameplate values with a tolerance of plus or minus 0.5%. A transformer passes this test when the ratio is within tolerance on all taps, while significant deviation indicates possible shorted turns requiring further investigation. 2. Insulation Resistance Test, IR slash Mega Test The Insulation Resistance, IR, test, commonly known as the Mega Test, evaluates the condition of insulation between HVLV earth components of the transformer. This test is crucial for identifying moisture contamination or insulation deterioration that could lead to premature failure. Before testing, the transformer must be isolated and discharged, with neutral grounding links disconnected. Test voltages are typically 1 kV for LV windings and 5 kV for HV windings. Measurements are taken for HV earth, LV earth, and HV LV connections, with readings held for either 1 minute, dielectric absorption ratio, or 10 minutes, polarization index. The pass criteria include a polarization index greater than 2, indicating good insulation, while readings below 100 m omega suggest moisture contamination or insulation deterioration that requires attention. 3. Winding Resistance Test The winding resistance test is designed to detect loose connections, bad joints, and on-load tap changer, OLTC, contact wear. This procedure involves connecting a high-current DC micro-ohmmeter to the winding ends and injecting DC current, typically 1A-10A depending on transformer size. Due to the inductance of the windings, technicians must wait for reading stabilization before recording values. Measurements are taken for all tap, cha tap changer positions, and resistance symmetry is compared phase to phase. Acceptable results show phase differences of less than 2%, while high deviations may indicate OLTC contact carbonization or other connection issues that require maintenance. 4. Dissolved Gas Analysis, DGA, Sampling Dissolved Gas Analysis, DGA, is a powerful diagnostic technique that detects internal transformer faults through analysis of gases formed in the insulating oil. The sampling procedure requires careful attention to detail to ensure accurate results. After cleaning the sampling port, approximately 0.5 liter of oil is flushed before collecting the sample. The vacuum bottle is filled slowly to avoid bubble formation, then sealed airtight and labeled with parameters including temperature and date. The sample is sent for gas chromatography analysis, which identifies key gas indicators, acetylene indicates arcing, methane and ethylene suggest overheating, while hydrogen points to partial discharge. Regular DGA sampling provides early warning of developing faults and is one of the most effective predictive maintenance tools for transformers. 
5. Sweep Frequency Response Analysis, SFRA Sweep Frequency Response Analysis, SFRA, is a highly sensitive test that detects winding deformation due to short circuits or transport damage. This procedure creates a fingerprint of the transformer's electrical characteristics by injecting a low-voltage signal across a wide frequency range, 20 Hz, 2 MHz, and measuring the response of each winding. Before testing, all bushings and grounds must be disconnected to ensure accurate measurements. The frequency response is then compared with factory or previous signatures to identify any deviations. A curve shift indicates winding displace displacement or core movement, which may have occurred during transportation or due to mechanical stress. SFRA is particularly valuable as a baseline test before transportation and as a comparative test after moving or fault incidents. 6. Vector Group and Polarity Test The vector group and polarity test confirms the correct phase relationship and vector group of the transformer, which is critical before commissioning to prevent catastrophic failures. This procedure involves applying a single-phase AC voltage to HV terminals and measuring the induced voltages on LV terminals to check phasor relationships. The results are then matched to the specified vector group, e.g., DIN11. This test is particularly important when connecting transformers in parallel or when replacing transformers in existing systems. A transformer with an incorrect vector group will cause phase shift errors and must not be energized until the issue is resolved. This test is mandatory during commissioning and should be performed after any major maintenance that might affect winding connections. 7. Oil BDV, Breakdown Voltage, Test The Oil Breakdown Voltage, BDV, test measures the dielectric strength of transformer oil, which is essential for proper insulation performance. The procedure involves pouring oil into a BDV chamber with electrodes set at a 2.5 mm gap. Voltage is increased at a rate of 2 kV S until breakdown occurs, indicated by a spark. This process is repeated 5 to 6 times, and the average value is calculated. Good oil typically has a BDV value greater than 60 kV while low BDV values indicate moisture contamination or oil degradation that requires filtration or replacement. Regular BDV testing helps maintain oil quality and prevents insulation failures due to contaminated oil. 8. Transformer Differential Relay Testing Transformer Differential Relay Testing ensures that the protection system will operate correctly during internal faults. This procedure involves injecting simulated differential currents into the relay and checking its restraint and operating characteristics. The slope characteristics are verified, and trip tests are performed for internal fault simulations. The relay must trip for differential current above the pickup setting to pass this test. Both primary and secondary injection testing should be performed to verify CT polarity and connections. This testing is critical during commissioning and after any maintenance to the protection system, ensuring that the transformer will be properly protected during fault conditions. Safety precautions and best practices. Safety is paramount when performing transformer testing procedures. Always de-energize and properly ground transformers before testing and verify isolation with appropriate lockout slash tagout procedures. Allow sufficient time for capacitive discharge before making connections and use proper personal protective equipment, PPE, including insulated gloves, safety glasses, and appropriate clothing. Follow manufacturer's guidelines and industry standards for each test procedure and maintain proper documentation of all tests for trend analysis and compliance purposes. Best practices include establishing a baseline for each transformer when new, maintaining consistent testing methods for accurate trend analysis, and implementing a systematic approach to testing frequency based on transformer criticality. Documentation should include test conditions, equipment used, and results with appropriate temperature corrections. By following these comprehensive testing procedures with proper safety precautions, utilities can maximize transformer reliability extend service life, and prevent unexpected failures that could impact system reliability.